upload your website into Hostinger. First of all, you need to create a new hosting account. You need you can do this by just clicking this on new account. So you you choose whichever suits you. But I'm just gonna go for the free one. So then you choose the subdomain. I'm just gonna go for um ASW. So your password you can either click generate or use the any password you want. I'm just gonna use any password of my choice now and then continue. Oh so So I'm just gonna click continue. So what you need to do is just enter the capture code as you see it and um, agree to the terms and condition. So your account will now be created. Just go into your account and click on you can use the money. These are all the options you can use manage website builder and whatever so you click on manage this is the details of your website let me open the new tab just for you to see what I mean so this is the link to your new website now so let's just close that then you can go down here and access all other options but what we are interested in is uploading our files onto hosting so what we do now is um what we do is go on website which is this and click import website. So this you can use the import website, maybe you've already created your website, maybe in Dreamweaver or some somewhere else, but you just need to import it so that it can be hosted online. Or you could use this website builder which has online ready made templates. You just customize them. So you click on import website. Now you need to drag and drop your files here. So I'm just gonna do that now. Um, I forgot to mention before you upload your files, you need to zip it. Then when you zip when you zip it, then you can now drag and drop it into the upload area. Make sure it contains uh, every files in. Make sure all your website files are contained in one folder, or else you there will be broken links or maybe images will not be shown. So let's just wait till this is completely uploaded. So we just have to wait until it's completely uploaded. Yeah, it's finished now. So let's test our, our let's take a look at how our website is gonna look. So you go on on account, not dashboard details. Yeah, and then you run this. As soon as you run your your website, this is what you're gonna see at first. So it says this is what it says now. You need to delete this default.php because it's this default that is that's being viewed right now. So we need to go to web no actually we need to go to files and file manager two and then public HTML and then we need to remove this to delete now that both of them has been deleted we need to just test our website 
as soon as we open our website this is what this is how it's gonna look but we don't want this to happen so you go to your to to the link of the um, page you want to be set as the home page I, I will choose this um, home page website here yeah. and then this is the one I want to be my to be displayed as soon as the link is visited so I'm just gonna click this So this is the link this is the link I want so I just click on that and copy the link then close so to make it easy we just go on to the um domains and redirect so this just instead of opening this link directly it redirects you to the home page then just copy and paste this and then make sure you remove the http at the beginning yeah like this so make it www dot and then click create now the redirect has been created so let's visit our page again um yeah it should be on a dashboard and then details and then and that's how you create that's how you upload your um website onto Dream, onto I said Dreamover onto Ostinga so you can now visit your website is now live and yeah so that's just the basic way uh, thanks for watching